The PROPSMA is a prospective randomised multicentre study uh, looking at a new type of imaging test PSMA at PET-CT for staging high-risk prostate cancer patients uh, prior to curative intent surgery or radiotherapy. This was an investigator-initiated trial uh, sponsored by the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia and funded by Movember conducted at, at 10 sites uh, around Australia. And uh, we took men who are at a high risk of relapse that uh, usually have surgery or radiotherapy as their curative intent treatment, but we know that around half of these men in the long term uh, do recur. Uh, so the uh, hypothesis here is that more accurate imaging will improve patient outcomes in the long term. Uh, Prostate-specific membrane antigen, or PSMA, is a cell surface glycoprotein overexpressed in prostate cancer. And we now have some radioactive small molecules for uh, imaging uh, prostate cancer. And this test produces striking images uh, with high tumour to background uh, contrast. Uh, so in this study, uh, we randomised 300 men to the current standard of care, which is a CT scan and a bone scan, or a gallium PSMA11 at PET-CT. Uh, men were suitable if they had untreated biopsy-proven prostate cancer with high-risk features, and the high-risk features were a PSA of 20 or more, a Gleason grade group 3, 4 or 5, or a clinical uh, stage T3 or greater. And we followed up all these men for six months uh, to define the accuracy. And the accuracy was determined using a, a predefined scoring system uh, encapsulating both histopathology and changes in imaging, biochemistry, uh, or clinical features over that time. And the primary endpoint of accuracy uh, showed that PSMA PET-CT had a 27% greater accuracy than conventional imaging. Uh, that was 65% for the combined findings of CT bone scan compared to 92% uh, for PSMA uh, PET-CT. So this was a large difference between the two arms. And that was due to both a higher sensitivity and also a higher specificity. And it was true for both pelvic nodal and distant metastatic subgroups. And uh, we also looked at some key secondary endpoints, which were management change. How did the test change the uh, physician's management? And there was a high management change in 28% of men who underwent PSMA PET uh, compared to only 15% of men that randomised to CT bone scan. And we saw less equivocal or uncertain findings with PSMA PET, 7% versus 23% and a, also a much lower radiation dose with the new test. This is measured in millisieverts, and the PET scan had an 8 millisievert radiation dose compared to 19 millisieverts uh, for uh, conventional imaging. So in summary, the PRO-PSMA uh, study is the first uh, randomised uh, prospective study of PSMA PET for staging men prior to surgery or radiotherapy, and we showed superior accuracy, greater treatment impact, and uh, fewer uncertain findings. And the combined findings uh, suggest that PSMA PET uh, is a suitable replacement uh, for current standard of care CT and bone scan.